It's pretty easy to make random bleeps and bloops in Super Collider. Just take a noise generator and plug it into an oscillator. Easy, yes. Musically appealing and useful, eh, maybe not so much. Instead, we can think in terms of MIDI note numbers and convert to frequency with MIDI CPS. This noise generator spits out floats, which we can confirm by polling it. So it's basically identical to the first example. Uh, if we want actual notes from a piano keyboard, we can round these pitch values to the nearest integer. It's a little bit more musical, but still pretty random. We can round to a different number to do intervallic stuff, like a value of two picks notes from a whole tone scale. Seven picks from a bunch of stacked fifths. It's very retro video game flavor. Okay, but the obvious question here is, is it possible to round or musically quantize these pitches to the nearest scale degree in some scale? And the answer is yes. And the first step is to load a collection of scale degrees into a buffer. Let's do the minor pentatonic scale. So that would look like this. And let's plot this buffer just to really understand what's going on here. These connecting lines are misleading. So I'm gonna hit the M key on my keyboard once to plot the data as points, stretch it vertically. And we can see this buffer contains five values, which are 0, 3, 5, 7, and 10. And now we're going to use a UGen called index, which retrieves buffer values using the integer part of its input signal as an index. So new variable called index. I'm going to reuse this noise generator, but give it a range between 0 and 1, which is going to represent octaves, and then scale it by the number of frames in the buffer. Index.kr uses this signal to look up scale degrees in the buffer, but if we stop here, the values produced are going to be 0, 3, 5, 7, or 10, which are really low for MIDI note numbers, so we should add a value, which effectively determines the starting note of the scale. We'll pull the index, so as this plays, watch the integer part of the numbers in the post window, and you'll notice they correspond to the scale degrees that we hear. <laughs> Okay, it's a good start, but doesn't give us a lot of flexibility. If we increase the range of the indices, you know, thinking we're going to expand out to four octaves or whatever, index isn't really designed to work this way. Instead, it just clips the index within the buffer frame range. So in this case, we're just going to hear that highest scale degree, like 75, 80% of the time. A better option, I think, is a UGen called degree to key which is similar, but instead of clipping index values, it wraps them within the frame range. And as it does so, it also shifts the octave accordingly. So here's a four octave range, dropping the starting note one octave lower. And just to emphasize what's going on here, let's replace the index with LF saw to sweep across these four octaves. And I guess we don't really need to pull the values anymore. And what's really cool about this is that these scales are stored in buffers, which means we can swap them out in real time. To make this a little bit cleaner, I'm going to paste in a synthdef version of this code, which has an argument for the scale buffer. And side note, perfect example of why we should use kr for buffer information instead of ir, because if we switch to a scale with a different number of degrees, kr will track this change, but ir will not. So here's a couple of different scales to play with and try them out. All right, and finally, here's a fancy version I made ahead of time. So pause and study at your leisure. It's got a randomly changing index, multi-channel expansion to create multiple voices, detuning effect on the pitch, argument for the starting note so we can very easily transpose, frequency slightly lagged so there's like a micro glissando whenever the pitch changes, one additional octave at the top, an envelope, mostly for fading out, and a delay reverb combo at the end. Sounds like this. So, degree to key. Great UGen for scale quantization. Gateway to all sorts of scale and mode-based pitch work. So shout out, big thanks to my patrons for the ongoing support. Very much appreciated. And to everyone, if you're enjoying this mini-series, please like and subscribe, and hope you'll consider becoming a patron yourself. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.